Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today we are going to start a new chapter which is a uh, function and graph, uh, chapter 5 which is a very important uh, topic. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how to identify a function and how to identify a one-to-one -one function and uh, we are going to see how to state a domain and range of a function. Okay, so as you can see from this uh, slide, this is the summary for chapter 5 we we have uh, basically four main subtopics tapi saya kecikkan kepada three subtopics so these are all from 5.1 which is function and 5.2 we're going to see uh, how to find a composite function and 5.3 we are going to see how to find an inverse function okay so for this video as i said earlier we are going to see how to identify a function how to identify a one-to-one -one function and how to state a domain and range by using a graphical method okay so let's see all right so what is a function so a function is a special kind of relation where each element of x is related to one and only one element of y so these are the example of function as you can see we have one-to-one -one relation and we have many to one relation so basically the condition of a function has to be each domain must have an image okay must have image and then the other one condition is uh, must be one and only one image okay so these are the condition of our function Okay, so let's see the first learning outcome for today which is we are going to identify a function by using a vertical line test. Okay, so we are going to determine whether a relation is a function or not. So, let's say a vertical line test is vertical. So, vertical is like this. So, we are going to draw a vertical line test and if the uh, line intersect the curve at only one point, then fx is a function of x. Okay. So let's see, we have the first graph here. Okay, so we want to determine whether this is a function or not. So we basically just draw a vertical line test. And as you can see here, it intersect at one point. Okay, so this is a function. Okay, so this is a function. Okay, so let's take a look at the second graph. We just draw a vertical line test here. And as you can see here, it, it intersect at two points. So this is not a function. Okay, not function Y because it intersects at two point. Okay, so for this one, let's say if we draw a vertical line test, so we know that this intersect at one point. So this is a function. Okay, so how about for question D? If we draw a vertical line test, this is not a function okay because we have two point not function okay so very easy if you want to determine whether the relation is a function or not we just draw a vertical line test and if it intersect at one point it is a function okay so very simple so next for the second learning outcome today we are going to identify a one-to-one -one function kalau tadi kita cerita pasal function now we are going to see how to identify a one-to-one -one function okay so one-to-one -one function to apa yang inilah okay one-to-one -one. so one-to-one -one function all right so kalau uh, uh, determine uh, how to identify a function we are we are using a vertical line test for one-to-one -one function we are going to use a horizontal line test okay horizontal line test Okay, tapi kita ada dua cara which is by using graphical and by using algebraic method. Okay, kalau graphical dekat situ, we are going to use horizontal line test which is they work the same way as vertical line test. We just draw a vertical line and if it intersect at only one point, so it is a one-to-one -one function. Okay, so let's see. Kita tengok graphical method dulu, nanti kita akan tengok algebraic method. Okay, let's see the first example here. Determine whether the function given below are one-to-one -one function. So the question asks either uh, this function is a one-to-one. -one. Okay, so let's use uh, graphical method for this 
question so we have fx equals to 2x minus 1 so if you want to use graphical method you have to know how to sketch the graph okay we are going to we are going to learn how to sketch the graph later so this is a very basic graph linear graph so we have fx equals to 2x minus 1 so we are going to have a linear graph okay kalau tak tahu macam mana nak buat nanti kita akan tengok lagi so 2x minus 1 the graph should be looking like this ni panjang sikit lah Okay, this is 2x minus 1. This is fx equals to 2x minus 1. Okay, so this supposed to be 1 over 2 and this is negative 1. Okay, so this is our graph. So we want to know uh, whether this function is 1 to 1 function or not. So basically, we just draw a vertical line test. Okay, let's draw a vertical line test. And as you can see here, it intersect at one point. So we know you have to use you have to do a conclusion okay since the line y equals to let's say lah this is y equals to k okay any any constant lah y equals to k cut the graph at cut the graph at one point so what does it mean fx then Ay, ay, ay. Then fx is a one to one function. A one to one function. So wajib eh kena tulis conclusion. Conclusion wajib kena tulis. Okay, you draw uh, your vertical line test. You got one mark, and then your conclusion you got one mark. So make sure when the question asks to determine whether it's a function or a one to one function, you have to state your conclusion. Okay. So let's see for the second uh, question. We have fx equals to x square plus 2. So we have to know how to draw the graph. Okay. So basically the graph will be looking like this. Okay. Kalau tak tahu tak apa. Nanti kita akan belajar lagi how to sketch this graph. Okay. So this is a quadratic graph. Something like this. Okay. So this is 2. Alright. So we have the graph. This is fx equals to x square plus 2. So we have the graph. We want to determine whether this is a 1 to 1 function. So we know that if we, if we want to identify a 1 to 1 function, we have to draw a vertical, sorry, horizontal line test. So we draw a horizontal line test. Yes. And then let's see here we have two intersection points. Okay. So if you have two intersection points, what does it mean? This is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay, sebab kalau one-to-one, -one, dia kena intersect dekat satu sahaja. So, make sure you write your conclusion. Since, let's say, let's put this as y equals to k. Since the line y equals to k cuts the graph at two point, fx is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay, so very clear. If you want to use graphical method, for determine a one-to-one -one function, you have to draw a horizontal line test. Okay, so kalau dia intersect dekat satu point, it is a one-to-one -one function. Kalau dia intersect dekat more than one point, it is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay, so now we are going to look how to use uh, an algebraic method uh, to determine a one-to-one -one function. Okay, as you can see here, this statement, let x1, x2 in df, df is a domain. If fx1 equals to fx2 Statement ni wajib kena tulis Okay Wajib kena tulis So macam mana kita nak tahu dia one to one function Your x1 must equals to x2 Okay So Kalau tak faham tak apa Let's just go straight to the question So we have function 2x minus 1 Macam saya cakap yang hijau ni wajib kena tulis So just write it Okay, you, if you want to find, if you want to identify a one-to-one -one function by using algebraic method, the first thing that you have to do, just write, let x1, x2 in domain of f. Okay, tak payah fikir apa-apa. And then you just write fx1 equals to fx2. So, this statement wajib kena tulis. Okay, and then fx1 is equals to fx2 this is our fx so just write 2x1 minus 1 equals to 2x2 minus 2 okay so now now we are going to simplify uh cancel out apa yang boleh cancel out 
So let's say Sorry this one is 1 kan Minus 1 Okay so minus 1 plus 1 Kita akan dapat 0 So we are going to end up with 2x1 equals to 2x2 Cancel out 2 We are going to get x1 equals to x2 Okay so as from what this statement said If x1 equals to x2 fx is a one to one function Okay sama juga mesti kena ada conclusion Since x1 is equals to x2 fx is a one to one function Okay one to one function Alright very very easy Okay so let's Let's see the second question We have fx equals to x square plus 2 Okay macam kita cakap Kalau nak determine one to one function By using algebraic method There is two statement that we have to write Just write it Jangan fikir apa-apa Let x1, x2 in domain of f So fx1 is equals to fx2 Okay So what is our function? Our function is x square plus 2 So we will have x1 square plus 2 is equals to x2 square plus 2 okay so 2 minus 2 is equals to 0 so we are going to have x1 square equals to x2 square alright so dekat sini kita tak boleh square root both side okay wrong okay contohlah kalau kita square root both side contoh kamu buat kamu square root both side you are going to get x1 equals to x2 so we know that if x1 is equals to x2 It is a one to one function But as you can see from graphical method This is not a one to one function So you know that something wrong is uh, in your working Okay So why? Kita tak boleh square root both side Okay From here we have to do X1 is equals to square root Bawa pergi sebelah kita akan dapat square root x2 square Sahaja ke? Nope you are going to get plus minus square root x2 squared Okay, sebab tu bila kita square root both side You have to write plus minus dekat situ So here, you can cancel out x uh, Square dengan square root tu boleh cancel out Then we are going to have x1 is equals to positive x2 And x1 equals to negative x2 So there is two answer, there are two answer here that means x1 is not equals to x2 So we can write our conclusion Since x1 is not equals to x2 fx is not one to one function Okay, so very clear So there are two things that we have already learned How to identify a function And how to identify okay. a one to one function So how to identify a function We have Vertical line test is to identify a function Okay And then we have horizontal line test Is to identify whether a function is a one to one function Okay So one to one There are two methods Which is by using graphical method and algebraic method Graphical method just draw a horizontal line test Algebraic method Basically just write these two statement and make sure uh, just find if your x1 is equals to x2 And don't forget to write your statement Okay, sorry conclusion Conclusion ada markah Alright So that are the two learning outcomes for today We're going to proceed to the next one Which is how to find a domain and range of a function Okay, so So if you want to find a domain Okay, domain Basically, we are going to refer to your x axis. Okay, refer to x axis. Okay, if you want to identify your range, we are going to refer to your y axis. Okay, ataupun kalau kita tengok, kita akan tengok sekarang. Um, okay, let's just see here. This is our domain. This is our codomain. Okay, so here The domain of a function is the set of the value of x So all of this So domain is A, B, C, D Codomain is the set of all element of y So basically all of this P, Q, R, S P, Q, R, S Okay, range pula ialah Is the set of images in y So this one P, Q, Q, 
Q and also R. So only P, Q and R. So this is what we call as image lah ataupun range dekat situ. Alright, so we are going to see how to find, how to state a domain and range by using graphical method. So now, as I said earlier, if you want to find domain, we are going to refer to x axis or basically you are going to look at your graph from left hand side to right hand side. Okay, from left hand side to right hand side, which means if you want to find domain, you are going to look from here to the right. Okay. And if you want to find your range, you are going to uh, refer to your y-axis and you are going to look from down to up. Okay, which is from down the graph to up. Alright, so let's see. If you want to find uh, a domain for the first uh, graph here, let's say we want to find domain of f. So, kita kena tengok daripada kiri ke sebelah kanan. From left, sini tak ada function. Okay, function ini eh. Ini function namanya. Okay, sini tak ada function, tak ada function, tak ada function. The function start here. Okay, which is here your x is equals to 0. And dekat sini dah ada hitam. So, back to our chapter 1. So, maksudnya 0 to included. Okay, so included. So, that is close bracket. 0. Okay, so starting from here. Starting from 0 sampai lah. Tak ada. Ini dia pergi ke infinity. So, this should be looking like this. So that is your domain from 0 to infinity. Okay. So if you want to find your range kita akan tengok daripada bawah ke atas. So daripada bawah. Sini tak ada function, tak ada function, tak ada function. The function starts at negative 2 included. Okay. Negative 2 included sebab kita ada dense circle kat situ. So your range will start from negative 2 close bracket sampai ke so your function will be until infinity. Okay, so negative 2, infinity. So that is your range. Okay, so let's see the second function here, the second graph. We want to find domain. So domain from left to right. So from left, it starts with negative 3 close. Okay, so negative 3 close. Okay, from left, so the function, 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 dia berhenti dekat 3. Okay, so here until 3 Close juga. Okay. So close juga. So now we want to find the range. So range is from down to up. So down. Function kita bermula di sini. So here is your y. Ingat. Range refer to y axis. So your y here is 0. So 0. Until. Down to up. Here. 3. 3 ni included ataupun tidak. Included. Walaupun dia tak ada open ataupun close dekat sini. As you can see. Kalau function dia kena dekat 3. So, dia akan masuk 3 close bracket. Okay. Okay. So, let's quickly do this. Uh, the other two examples. We have uh, an absolute value uh, function here. So, we want to find domain from left to right. So, ini graph ni sampai habis eh. So, from left. They start. Ni tak tahu dia start daripada mana. Which means there is from negative infinity. Okay. Tak stop. Sampai lah Sorry Dekat sini Negative 4 Dekat sini Open Okay Nampak tak open Dekat sini Negative 4 Kita berhenti Dekat sini Open circle So Dia kena stop Dekat negative 4 Negative infinity To 4 Okay And then Sambung balik So bila kita nak Sambung balik tu Dia kena letak Union Okay Kena letak union So sambung balik Dekat 4 Which is 4 Is not included Sorry Negative 4 And then to Graph kita ni sampai lah Infinity Alright Alright So if you want to find your range So range This is from negative infinity Up until 4 in, uh, Open Negative infinity 4 Open Alright So the last one We have a rational graph So we want to find domain So domain from here, from left to right, so here is negative infinity. As you can see, it stops at 2. 2 ni dia tak kena pun. Function kamu tak kena pun dekat 2 ni nampak ni. Okay. Dia merapati tapi tak kena. Which means, domain kita will look something like this. Negative infinity, we stop at 2, not included. Union, sambung balik dekat 2, 2, infinity. Okay. Jelas. 
So now let's see the range from down to up So down this is from negative infinity So nampak dia tak kena pun dekat 2 So you are going to stop at 2 And then you are going to uh, continue at 2 balik Okay so here is negative infinity to union 2 to infinity So that is how we want to find a domain and range for by using graphical method Okay Alright, so dari solve from uh, for now, kita jumpa sebentar lagi.